New at six, at any given moment, there are 3,000 people waiting to get a heart transplant in the U.S. Without enough donated organs, 20 people die every day waiting for that heart. Ursula Perry has the story of a kid who was not only given a second chance at life, but a third. Here I am at the pinnacle. 21-year-old Peyton Bowling loves dressing up and giving a heart-stopping performance. What is wrong with this picture? But a disease he developed when he was just a baby actually caused his heart to stop. He had a massive heart attack when he was eight months old. He was placed on the transplant list for a new heart, and a year later, he got one. He would take yours. Then in fourth grade, he developed a chronic rejection. Peyton's new heart was failing. It was very scary to know that um, my health was not in the best place. Transplant hearts do not last as long as a person's original heart, but with improving technology, the current average lifespan of a transplanted heart in kids is 20 years. At age 21, Peyton ended up in the hospital and back on the transplant list. Then he got his second heart transplant. It is very rare that you would get a chance at a second heart transplant. Newberry was the nurse practitioner for Peyton's first transplant 19 years ago, and she was there for his second one. To see him as an adult have another opportunity at a heart transplant, it's been pretty amazing. When I woke up from surgery, I, I was in pain, but I felt there was something I couldn't describe that I just felt better. Soon, better enough to get back on stage and perform his heart out. Ursula Perry, KSAT 12 News.